Hi there, this is Mike of Near Earth Dice, and this is the Kerbal Space Program. Here is Mining Station 1, and this is actually not a bad shot, because over there, 24 kilometers away, is Taxi Stand, which is where, um, uh, the Aluminium Rhinoceros has managed to get itself stuck, because I didn't give it enough fuel. Uh, right, so I've docked at long last with the Mining Station. And I've just refueled it, so this is now nice and full of fuel. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down the drill. I have a sneaking suspicion that I um, set up action groups to do that, to do this, to. to start and stop the drills, but I have thoroughly forgotten which one it was. Um, the reason I'm stopping the drills is I don't think I've got, yeah, I was running out of electrical power, even because I've smashed the, um, one of the solar panels, uh, I actually don't have enough electric power, uh, to... run the drills and, and, and do the conversion, which is, which is what's, what is currently happening. Uh, liquid fuel and liquid oxygen are being, well, yeah, an oxidizer. Uh, very slowly being made, converted from, from ore. I've got quite a lot of ore. So um, I will just do the conversion for right now. Um, I'm going to wait for all the batteries to fill up. So as you can see, with the three Gigantors, um, it can run the converter, no problem, but it can't run the converter and the drill. I'm not sure it could even do that when I had the Gigantor, but I had all four Gigantors. And now they've only got three, that's obviously even more of a problem. Uh, wait till that's finished. Right, okay. So now I need to delicately undock myself. And I'm um, okay, sticking back to there. There we go. So now this is on its own. Um, I don't know what it's going to call itself. I can't remember where I put the. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, I now need to disengage it, so a bit of thrust and a bit of Oh, we need to put the Combination of SAS to kind of wiggle it free and RCS using the Werner engine. To get free. Now, uh, looking at the map view, taxi stand is off to the northwest. The red line is north, and therefore that is west. So therefore, I'm pretty much wanting to go on the nav ball that way, which is kind of the A key. And I want to do this more like a suborbital hop than a hover. And I am going to create a named quick save. Uh, let's see if I what day it is. Off to the taxi stand, not the taxi taxi, the taxi stand.
because I may or may not be able to do this without smashing into the ground again. This is something I want to not want to not do. So, uh, right, we'll disarm that. That's rather a neat animation. Actually. One thing we're going to have to do, given that I wasn't able to, to connect without smashing into the solar panels, but I think the solar panels, I don't know if they're repairable. I might be able to get an engineer over here and get them to repair the demo. But um, what I might want to end up doing is creating something like a rover, but like long and thin. Um, They'll get in there and, and hook in there, and then it would be a nice long thing, uh, which would enable uh, other craft to dock to it, so it could have docking ports. But mostly, even if I'm just going to be using claws, it's going to have a long, you know, area to to attach claws to without actually trying to get in here, which is what was causing the problem. Uh, and then I can I can make more of a base here and attach more things to it. Specifically, I want to attach more solar panels, and I probably want to attach some fuel cells, stuff like that. Uh, well, I can't find out how that. Well, I can find out how, how that's getting on, but I'm just going to leave that running. Okay, so let's go. I'm largely heading straight towards the um, the target. This is my prograde vector. That's the direction I'm actually going. So I'm heading off a little that way to bring that so that over the um, the target. And so, and then I can go. Now I can point straight to the target. I want to be going up. And in the map view, I really want this to be more of a suborbital hop than I, I want it to be some kind of hover. Because um, that's more efficient. So really, as soon as that blue line starts to, to contact the rhinoceros, that's when I want to start thinking about turning around. Um, if I was clever, I'd, I'd be keeping track of how long I've been burning for. Uh, because in theory, that's how much... That's when I want to start thinking about burning, when I'm that far away from... Um, from the rhinoceros, because obviously, you know, the amount of energy I'm putting in is the amount of energy I have to take out of my um, system here. That's getting quite close. In fact, I'm just going to start burning now, because I've pretty much burnt the whole way. Uh, the only question is whether I'll um, clear that. It turns out uh, Takstandu's right 
down the bottom of the crater. So I have to make sure I, I get over the, the crater rim. Well, quite frankly, I'd rather fall short and then have to make up some distance. Looks like I'm going to. Right, we're just going to go upwards for a bit. I'm still traveling at 80 odd uh, meters a second. Uh, I hope I am in fact going to go up. Time to not get back. Okay, looks like I'm gonna make it, that's good. Here's a good player. See if I can't get a more or less uh I'm going to want to drop down a bit in a second. Right, I think. I think I want to kind of start hovering at this stage. Um, okay, it wasn't perfect. Calculating, I don't know how to calculate suborbital hops. And it's not something I know how to do just yet. I need to bring chaos along next time. Just even if even if you're able to even if I was able to just add some of those deck draws. Um, Just the thing, you, know, you, you can add, you can add those you know, arrows pointing places. So handy. Okay, so I'm, I'm a bit, bit. I'd like to go a bit faster than I am. I have to remember that I can, I can, I can essentially just point up and. Um, adjust my rate of fall with the with the main throttle and use the Werner engine RCS to um, adjust everything else. But I think we're going to go a bit faster. That points as close to the directly at the bottom. Yeah. Reasonably steady um, rate of descent.
I also need to think about how much Delta V I have used, or how much fuel I've used at least. Because I'm going to want to head back. I've used it down now. This may not be terribly efficient, this may not be efficient enough. And maybe I'll be better off sending a whole new ship. I'm spending a lot of fuel at the minute. Um, hovering. Afford to fall quite a ways. I'm about 335 meters up, uh, and obviously I want to end up down in the end. up again. Right, so get ourselves some Da, 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 da. Very, very cautious here. So now I'm just going to be using the RCS. Okay. I'm going to have oh, I need my hover scripts. I need them so badly. Use that half. The problem is, I've used almost half my fuel just getting here.
So it's going to be a bit of a question whether or not I can um, easily reuse all this. Because I, I wanted to have enough that I could... Oh well. I wanted to have enough that I'd be able to um, get here and get back. Um, I'm going to have to work on my um, suborbital hops because I, I spent, I've spent a lot of time hovering. Whereas ideally, what I want to do is have a kind of whoosh and then ballistic and then unwoosh at the other end. Uh, but clearly, that's not going to happen today. everything off. And we'll arm this. Hope I can get there without breaking anything. Okay, there we go. Shit. Of all the times to hit the wrong goddamn key. everyone enjoy <laughs> what <laughs> my tourist look at my tourist <laughs> of all the times to hit the Z key instead of the X key oh my lordy lord right Okay, so... <laughs> right, so I'll just refuel, and if I don't have enough, then I don't have enough, and that's life. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I needed... I needed... Um, tons more fuel, really. What I could probably do, and I don't know if it's, if it's how possible it is, is to make an ion drive based thing. All learn to do do suborbital hops because I was I was wasting so much fuel um, doing my suborbital hop wrong. Thank you. 
Uh, I'm going to stop it there. I attach grand designs for this thing, but um, yeah, like I, I put chairs on it because um, you know obviously I'd be able to. Um, well, I can just kind of pop it away. No, I can't. Oh, I forgot to put the. I'm going to crash it, don't crash it, don't crash it, don't, don't crash it, oh well, but fall over instead. Oh, because I gave it such enormously ridiculous reaction wheel. There you go. So this is now a permanent resident. Um, basically I wanted to have a little bit of fuel left in it, so that I could do exactly and precisely that. Um, 191 meters a second, well, there you, there you go. However, I have now got enough fuel that the aluminium rhinoceros can get off the surface. And in fact, I probably have enough fuel that I can, I can directly take this thing home. Um, but that I will not do because it does not have a heat shield. And so I'm going to need to rendezvous with the heat shield that is um, in orbit. So that is going to be next time. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, do hit like and subscribe if you've been enjoying uh, these videos. Uh, you can find Nearly Left Dice at nearlyleftdice.com. You can find Nearly Left Dice actually also on Twitter and Facebook, so just search for Nearly Left Dice on there. And until next time, reach to the stars and do a flip. <laughs>